in a nutshell, we're talking a lot about, you know, having all these charging stations. I mean, are we going to be ready by 2030? Well, I think we will get there. But I'll have to say that I think it's not just an infrastructure issue. It is also an issue of um, whether the mindset of how you use the car and charge a car actually can change. Yeah. So I'll give you some examples of this, right? So I think when we talk to new EV owners, we find that a number of them actually adopt the same mindset as they used to when they were petrol car owners, which is to say they run their battery down, you know, to like 10% or something like that. Then they go and look for somewhere to charge, yeah. let's say like a petrol station where they've got high power chargers, and they go there and they sit there, you know, for one hour and wait for the car to charge or something like that, right? And after doing this for a couple of months, they tell everybody they know, you know, owning an EV is so terrible, you know, I have to right. spend one hour every couple of days charging and so on. And the issue of that is that they're not and really not using, using a fast it. charger. Yeah, but they're not using it the way it's intended to be used. That's the issue, you see? Okay, so you're not supposed, tell, to, you, you're you're not not supposed to charge to. up like you would mm. pumping petrol. Ah, okay. So you don't thing. wait. You yeah. could charge yeah. as and when is what we yeah. encourage yeah. people. You happen to be in the supermarket and you happen to see a charger is available. Go and top it up. Yeah. At night when you go home, if there's a charger available, please top up. There's no need to like wait. 